right. Just try not to break everything. Um, all right. So I've been in the mood to create a landscape with sort of an abstract feel and after making that one landscape from the go gan book can't find it right now oh here it is after creating this i was actually editing the video for this this um burnout slash art block video so check that out and while watching it i was just so drawn to wanting to create something like that again but in a portrait um mode and i did see lee create something similar and i also saw fuzzy peach make something similar and i'm like it's just meant for me to create something similar and and even just even before seeing their landscapes um just that style has been in my mind for a while and i would love to pull different inspirations for these so i think i'm gonna reference this and i also saw the other one that i really like and this one is called a day of god and oh my god i love how the reflection of the water is colorful and the way the landscape is very sort of um shape like i don't know exactly what what is going on back there it's, it seems to be like mountains and a uh, beach back there but it's so interesting how he uses color to draw you into the foreground and subtle colors to um, prevent from from drawing to the background so um, these are my two inspirations today I'm thinking that I might pull something from a Frida Kahlo book also oh Matisse has some good landscapes too this here is my favorite one i love this painting i use this one as an inspiration to draw a figure with the neo color pastels or the neo twos and so good i can't wait to give you a sketchbook tour of that but between matisse gauguin and frida i would say they're everything I aspire to be like come on oh my god I need to study these um, paintings more this one really inspired me for a self-portrait that I did that came out kind of wackadoodle but it was so good in color composition but I think I'm going to probably use that first one that I showed you oh this is so amazing in person like everything about it it's huge it's literally like if i was a person i would be like this big next to this and like it's all the way up in the tower like sort of arching like they designed the entire space to fit this painting Okay, so I have some inspiration. I have some motivation in me. And I think I'm going to use this original one. And this one's called Le Bonheur de Vivir, The Joy of Life. Oh, and this one's in the Barnes Foundation also. Oh my God, I need to go to the Barnes Foundation. I'm going to go grab that Frida book and i will be back and then we can dive into some painting and today i'll be using the gouache i think i'm going to start off uh, with a wash and then let it dry do some more layering and probably use some color pencil all right so let me go grab that book and i'll be back 
All right. If you guys are any remotely, even the slightest bit into Frida Kahlo, like when I say like, if you like her even just a little bit, you must get this book. Like, I love this book. I could just sit here and flip through it for days. It's worth every dollar. It was only $35. And I say that because it could have been more. But, I mean, I aspire to have a sketchbook like hers. Seriously. Like, oh my God, it's to die for. I think I'm going to pull from this one because it has a good sort of um, landscape inspiration. And then this one is has that like field of red that all of these other inspirations have. All right. So have my inspos. Don't look at my funky toes. So... Here's my inspirations. There's a lot of things changing about today's video. I'm not sitting on the floor. I feel like standing, which is a change. And I needed to switch things up. And I also wanted to really work on my easel standing. often but I sketched out um, my drawing with my pencil a General's pencil Kimberly brand maybe I did buy it because it said my name who knows that's besides the point I love 4-H pencils they're my all-time favorites and the General pencils are really good brand I also really love these type of pencils if I have it in here yes so the Tombow Mono 4H my favorite these two are like by far the best 4H pencils I've ever used any who's we have our mountain here I have some trees and I'm kind of also thinking of an abstracted tree fluff um, this is some weird tree here I don't know if that's gonna stay in that weird angle then I have a path which I love to create paths to my mountains and then I'm thinking of this to be sort of a water source and then another rock and then we have a tree that's grounding this entire area gouache I love the color I need to add more pinks and you're probably wondering why I'm wearing this white dress with permanent ink permanent paint you know I don't know I looked at my um what is that called apron 
and I said, you know, I want to look pretty in my video today and then I'm just sitting here seeing all the paint splash everywhere and I'm like, I'm going to ruin my dress. So I'm okay though, uh, so far, I'm okay with it. leave it like that and I love that I decided to paint all around that's so fun I actually have to take a break because I do film on my phone and I don't know if you heard me earlier but I gotta do my Duolingo I have Italian to catch up on <laughs> And I don't want to miss my streak. I have about an hour before my streak is done. I'm also top four, so, you know, this will actually give me some time to rest my eyes away. I think I'm going to finish this. This is the only edge that I didn't finish, but all the other edges are done and I really love it. so excited okay so I'm going to do my Duolingo class and be back noi siamo uomini noi siamo uomini noi siamo uomini noi you guys, I'm recording on my Mac. Guess what? I got a hundred. Ooh, did that in four minutes. Wow. La donna. <laughs> That's all I know. I don't know much. That means the woman. <sighs> wow, I was not expecting to get a hundred. Proud of me. I'm back and I am a Latin, um, excuse me, an Italian speaking expert. Got a hundred on my lesson. And I also managed to record a little bit of me practicing on my Mac. So I am loving how this looks. Oh, I love the gouache on the canvas. It's fantastic. And that sound is awesome. I am mistake number one that I hate that I do sometimes is that I leave my brush in my water container. And then these are not very cheap. These are my Princeton Princeton Velvet Touch very high quality expensive for no reason in my opinion about this I think I'm glad that I went back in with some other colors however the water area is bothering me a bit and I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring some you know what let's try it I think I might bring some um, pink back in 
and just sort of add maybe this is red actually <laughs> this is actually crimson um, but I think I'm gonna make that area a little bit larger good points where I'm like trying to not overwork it I could add I could keep going forever honestly this is a very different style for me and I think I'm finding my style of illustrative sort of landscape I love it I love the the gouache with the canvas feel. I love that it creates like a matte final touch. It's also a great alternative to my Soul Flat um, Golden Paint, which I love. I love my Soul Flats, but they're so smelly. It's terrible. Um, I almost got paint on my dress like literally centimeters away and it landed right there so i'm gonna have to wait till it dries so i can peel it up <laughs> just to remind you of the inspiration which i see so much of matisse's inspiration in here i drew inspiration from um, from Frida Kahlo's journal. So the diary of Frida Kahlo, an intimate self-portrait, and I drew inspiration from, let me put my microphone on, from this page. And this page is about color de vino, veneno, Oh, veneno. Um, the color of poison. <laughs> Todo al revés, solo y live, live país. Okay, so disclaimer. I'm not the best at Spanish. I'm okay. I'm proficient. Not as good as I am at an Italian. Just kidding. <laughs> um, and she writes in cursive. So... Uh, that's interesting the color of venom you know she was really dark fun fact I absolutely adore her Sol y Vida painting and I did a replica as my undergrad final painting um, assignment and that lives in my living room and it's one of my all-time favorite replicas inspiration number two is from matisse's book and this is uh, from john cuman matisse in 50 works and the 
straight up inspiration like it's like to sort of some t so like lowercase t maybe the joy of life in the barnes foundation i want to go visit it i feel like i've seen this i don't know so it's very clear that i love matisse and all of his works i want to go see it in person any who's i clearly drew the inspiration of highlighting things with that royal blue and the pinkish sky what i did differently is overlaid a blue on top of that pink to give sort of um a cotton candy look i love love this pink tree like this entire segment here that's happening is my favorite so Gauguin, i drew the inspiration of the water scene i really loved how he had this sort of island beach area back here and i loved this water in different colors i originally tried to have it be sort of pink and it was looking like a little bit too much now the blue is kind of bothering me but um it's all right so this painting is called day of god mahano noatu oh okay that's in his language i'm not sure what language that is um, my intention with this painting was to bring some color and i really was craving to paint standing up i eventually sat down to get into the detail and also my neck was hurting i'm gonna call it a night <laughs> so i have to go wash my brushes before i damage them i'm gonna put things away and if you like this video please let me know in the comments below and like and subscribe and as always i'll see you in the next one